Bell, Janelle, and I. First fight is now in the books, and we come now to the third professional fighter, Frida George Foreman, as she gets it on with Rachel Pendleton. And a lady with a little bit less experience than she has. It's going to be tough for her, I think. Oh, yeah. She, well, she's at a big disadvantage in a number of ways, of course. Uh, not the least of which is all the hype surrounding uh, Ms. Foreman as one of the uh, daughters of the champions who are fighting right now. And, of course, Frida Foreman uh, is not one for hard work. She has been in the gym. She doesn't have any other job but boxing. This was her first fight, and this was less than scintillating. Yeah, now this she weighed... 20 pounds more than what she'll weigh in the ring tonight. But then you can see she was very slow, but showing a lot of power in her fight with Laquanda Landers to score that knockout victory. Then she won her second fight, uh, weighing 173 pounds. She weighed 180 pounds in her first fight. This is against Akira Bell, and the result pretty much the same. Yeah, it was, Barry, but uh, this one went the distance, and I thought that, uh, you know, Foreman looked a little bit better in this fight, Frida Foreman, at least technically. So, you know, there were small improvements, but they were improved and she's trying hard to improve her game. And, of course, there's the inevitable question, what does your dad think about this? And uh, it was pretty widely known that he wasn't too much in favor of it. But she spent Thanksgiving with him, and all of a sudden, George said, if you're serious, you got my blessings. I think he realizes now my heart in boxing. He knows that I'm truly, truly serious about it, and that's what's changed him. I don't think he saw a particular fight and said, okay, you know, or maybe he did say, this girl needs work, <laughs> but anything like that. But um, he sees my heart and my passion in it. So now she's got George in her corner, but the bottom line is she is getting incrementally better with every outing. Right, she's been training under Larry Goosen, who in any situation runs a very difficult training camp. He makes it very hard on his fighters, and she's been willing to put up with that. She has, and she comes in here tonight weighing just 160 pounds. That's a full 20 pounds, less than she did in her first fight that you saw earlier uh, about six months ago. So she summoned her serious about her crap, getting a little bit better, and trying tonight to take that next step. Take a look at the numbers between these two. Uh, Pimbleton in her second professional fight. She was stopped in the second round of her first. Frida Foreman at 160 pounds, and that, uh, Rich, is the number that really does jump out at you. Uh, that and that seven-inch height advantage is, uh, is certainly a stat uh, in her favor. And, of course, the reach, an eight-inch reach advantage. But uh, Frida Foreman uh, coming in here much more fit than she has been. She started at 180. Fought her second fight at 173, and now at 160, and she took a right hand. And she displayed a considerable power in those first two bouts at the much higher weight. Now we'll see what kind of power she has at this much lighter weight. But she certainly looks better, and she's moving around the ring much quicker. And at this lighter weight, she wants to be faster in the ring. She's worked on her speed in the gym, trying to put her combinations together quicker. Try to get in, score, and then get out. And working on, on uh, tighter punches to shorter punches, so far, that has not shown itself, but that's something she's trying to do, really set down on her punches. Says her dad taught her that. Yeah, her dad taught her also to turn over that right hand, use some extension on it instead of hitting it around every time. Takes a shot from Pimbleton, and then Foreman comes back. Foreman very aggressive. She says in the ring, I'm an aggressive plotter. Her best punch, she says, is the right cross. Naturally, she is right-handed. Oh, she takes another shot. Also took a headbutt. She actually, in the first few moments, as they both get uh, a warrant here for using the head, they, uh, she actually was quicker on her feet in the first few moments up on her toes, and she's a little bit up on her toes right now. Normally, she fights completely flat-footed. Still throwing those arching punches, though, and uh, not heeding Dad's advice right at the moment. That was a good right hand. That was a good short punch. Rachel can take a shot, and she comes back with her own. Break! Foreman, look at this pressure from Foreman, right on top of her opponent. Foreman also has been working on her jab. She says she wants to use a power jab tonight. Trying to settle down a little bit more. Larry Goosen has been training her. Said when he when she first came to me, she had zero talent, but he says she's improved a hundred percent. That head up, head up. Time. That's the end of round number one. Not a bad round for uh, Foreman, but Pendleton did uh, get a couple of shots in as well. We talked earlier about the fact that uh, Frida spent Thanksgiving with her dad and uh, listened uh, at the knee of the master about punching power. I guess the biggest thing that he showed me when we're talking about my right hand, and I hope tonight I'm able to use it when I'm fighting, is 
you know, always leave your shoulder almost facing your opponent and just bring in a straight, clean right hand. And I worked on that night, 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 day, and I think I have the capability to do it. That's what I really feel strong about. She says her father now has kind of acquiesced on this feeling of her fighting because she has the passion. She has worked diligently on that right hand, and you saw some effects of that in that first round. She still wants to revert back to the hooking right hand, but she's certainly trying to straighten it out. And here's what we were uh, talking about that February before her first fight. She officially weighed 180 for her first fight and 173 for her second. Well, I'll tell her, uh, in her first break, two fights, break. she was That's painfully slow. Break, hey, I mean, she made uh, Sonny Liston look like a go. speed demon. <laughs> but uh, in this fight, she you can see she's a little quicker. She's certainly quicker on her feet. Definitely and quicker a little on quicker her feet. of her hand. A little quicker of hand, not a lot. <laughs> You can see her make a conscious effort to shorten her punches. Up. Not a hook still. She spars. Uh -oh. That's twice when she was hit on the break. Keep the head up. Stop with the punches. Step back. Fighting with the passion and with the aggression. She takes a long look at her corner. Larry Goosen, of course, in her corner. Nice jab. There's some of those power jabs and a powerful right hand from Foreman. Pendleton is about Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Face she just corner. walked away. Go. They're waving a white towel in her corner, in Pendleton's corner. They want the referee to stop it right now. The, her corner man is up on the apron where he's not supposed to be with a white towel. Girl, you got a punch to get paid, girl. You got a punch to get paid. She wants out. There's no, no question about it, I don't think. Where's the exit door? Yeah. She's, she's looking for it. It's not going to be up to the referee, or she's just going to have to go down on her own. Well, she, if she really wants to get out of it, she's just take a knee. Stop, stop, stop. Well, well, right now, here's an opportunity for Frida to really turn it up. She you see to... your opponent ready to go, really turn it up, try she to just knock, help them out of the fight. Stop, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it's that's over. That's it. That's it. No. Well, she was far too much for uh, Rachel Pimble. Yeah, no question about that. It's probably time now to step up just a little bit for Frida Foreman, I would think. So Frida Foreman, uh, really hard to give her a real report card uh, based on the caliber of opposition. Right, her, uh, her opponent was just so overwhelmed and so overmatched here. As you can see, Frida, especially to me when she throws that left hook, really has very good power. Her right hand at times is still arcing and still amateurish in the way that she uh, than the way that she shows it but she has raw power i will say this she is developing uh, barry but she has a long way to go all right let's make it official with jimmy lennon jr ladies and gentlemen we have the time of one minute 36 seconds in round number two our referee in charge pete podgorski stops the contest the winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated frida george foreman so it is a, an improving process, uh, but a slowly improving process. Right. Well, she's trying very hard. She trains very hard. You can see it in her weight loss that she's, you know, she's working at it. You can see little things in there that are that are getting better and better. But, uh, you know, she, she certainly needs a lot of schooling yet. All right. Let's go up to the center of the ring. And Sean O'Grady is with Frida Foreman. Sean? She did some weird stuff, you know? Yeah, that's you know why I told you the difference between training with men and women. <laughs> you know what, Frida, it seems like you are a different fighter tonight. Did it feel different for you? It definitely felt different. I was a little angry. I wanted to go in there and try to really hurt this child tonight, but she was fighting a little bit awkward, and I couldn't Why so it. much anger? Because I'm angry. I just, I'm, I'm fighting. Fighters, you know, I'm not a happy sport. You know what, in tonight's fight, as we take a look at, at some of the action, it seemed as though you were taking your time, you were setting up your attack, you were thinking a little bit more. Yeah. Is that something you worked working on yeah, in the gym? Yeah, I, I saw that she leaving herself wide open. I wanted to go in one, two, and that's something I've been practicing on combinations. One, two, left, one, two, left. And then I saw I can land some left and right on there, so that's what I was going for tonight. You told me today you were going to use power jabs. Yeah, tonight. yeah. And I was trying to get in that straight right when I did. I screwed up myself. I wasn't moving my feet right, but... All right. I know I know. father told you, he said, straighten out your right hand. Right. You still want to revert back to those hooks, but how <laughs> different did it feel to throw the right hand straight down the pike? Oh, it felt good. It felt good when I did it. That's why I got a little hungry. I wanted to go in there and do some more. And when she was laying up against the ropes, I said, I'm going to go in here and try to really hurt this child tonight. So that's all I was going for. 
Frida, is there anything you want to say to Papa tonight? I love you, and I can't wait to get home. He's a great, he's a great person, awesome man who's lived many years of fighting. So I love him. I love him. I, can't I, know, wait I know you are so happy that he is uh, now, now in yes, your corner. Yes, that's uh, it. It's he's always, always been for you, but now he's with you. <laughs> yeah, no. All right, that's it from a very happy Frida George Foreman. She goes now to three and zero with two knockouts, guys. All right, thanks very much, Sean. Thanks to uh, Frida Foreman as.